This is a how-to video on building the Laser Bros Tumbler Kit. This tumbler is designed for deburring and finishing metal parts. It's a passive finishing method, so all you have to do is throw your parts in and let the machine do the work. The plans and files for the kit are free and available on our website. Before starting this build, you should get all the parts you need from the list on the website. Building this tumbler kit will require some metalworking tools such as laser or plasma cutting, bending, and welding. If you don't have access to some of these tools, we offer a ready to weld kit on the website which will include all of the sheet metal components cut and bent. So once you have all the hardware and sheet metal components, you'll be ready to start building your tumbler. The first thing you're going to start out with is cutting the liner to size. We do this before anything else because we use the sheet metal components as a template for cutting. Cut the main tub liner by lining one edge up at the top of the tumbler. You're going to also hold one edge about a quarter inch off the end of the tumbler for clearance. Use a handful of small clamps to hold the liner in place. Carefully cut the UHMW using the tumbler tub as a guide. You can use a box cutter to cut it by scoring the UHMW multiple times. In similar fashion, you're going to cut the UHMW end caps using the sheet metal end caps as a template. You won't need your UHMW until after the fabrication and painting is complete, so you can set them aside for now. We're now going to get ready to do our welding. In this video, we're using a MIG welder running 030 wire and 7525 gas. For the first part, you're going to be welding the mounting bolts onto the motor mounting plate. Now for the fun part, attaching the end caps to the tumbler body. This can be a bit of a pain to get everything lined up, but take your time with this because you want it to come out right. I like to stand the tumbler body upright and align the top flanges first, then work around the seams one side to the other. The fit up should be an open corner. I don't recommend welding anything until everything is tacked up in case you have to move something or something doesn't align right. Once everything is tacked up, you can proceed to weld out. These welds need to be watertight, so do a good job. Now you're going to weld the quarter inch MPT fitting on the bottom of the tumbler. This will line up with a small hole in the bottom of the tumbler body. You're also going to weld the second MPT fitting onto the long UHMW hold down angle. The location for where specifically to weld this can be found on the weld out PDF documents. Now you're going to mount the tumbler motor plate onto the tumbler body. The weld out PDF will show you where you need to mark for the placement of the motor plate. You want to make sure you put this in the right location because it will impact the performance of the tumbler. The mounting plate has notches in it to indicate where you can place welds. I like to use these as a start and stop point. Now you're going to move on to welding the tumbler base. There's alignment nubs built into the sides and front of each panel which will help you line up your parts for welding and fit up. They're also the start and stop points for your welds. Now you're going to attach the tub legs to the tub body. I like to use the base as an alignment jig for this using some half inch bolts and clamps. 
Paste the tumbler tub onto the tub legs and align it as specified in the weld out drawings. Make note that the tumbler sits at an angle because the mounting bushings are not even. Now finished with your weld out and ready to paint or powder coat your tumbler. Grab your bushings. There will be two short ones and two tall ones. The motor side of the tumbler will use the tall bushings. Once everything's aligned, go ahead and tighten everything down. Put the UHMW liner into the tub, starting with the two end panels. Use a small piece of masking tape to hold the end panels in place. After that, you're going to set the center panel. The fit up is going to be tight, so it might take some work. Once you get the UHMW liner in, you can attach the UHMW hold down angles using the quarter inch bolts. Take note that the hold down that has the MPT fitting needs to go on the motor side of the tumbler. Now you're going to adjust the weights in the tumbler motor. The tumbler motor uses counterweights to produce the vibration. From factory, these weights are in the mid-range for vibration output. So let's fix this. First thing you'll want to do is make sure the power's off. Take the cover off using a 532nd hex. Loosen the counterweights with a 5mm hex. You'll want to rotate the weight until its slit is lined up with the 100% mark. Tighten the 5mm screw back down and replace the cap. You want to do this on both sides. Next thing you're going to do is wire up the tumbler motor. This is hard to film, so it's best if you consult the PDF drawing and pictures. You're done wiring the tumbler motor you can bolt it up on the tumbler tub take your electrical enclosure and drill out two 7 8 inch holes for your cord grips Put your cord grips in, the, in and tighten them up. Once your VFD mounting plate is inside the box with the four supplied screws, set your VFD in the box and screw it in with the sheet metal screws. Now you're going to wire up the VFD. This is also hard to film, so it's best if you consult the PDF drawings and pictures there. Go ahead and mount the VFD enclosure to the tumbler using the metric bolts. These are plastic inserts, so tighten them gently. Now we're going to wire the tumbler motor to the VFD. Again, it's hard to film, so I would consult the drawings in the pictures.
inch hole through the UHMW tub to allow it to drain. Then attach your quarter inch MPT drain barbed fitting and also your two 90 degree quarter inch MPT barbed fittings into the bong on the UHMW hole down. Your aquarium pump will go into the bottom of the five gallon bucket and attach to one of the 90 degree barbed fittings to supply the water. You can use the flow restriction clamp to vary the amount of water that enters the tumbler tub. You will need to anchor the tumbler down to a concrete floor before using it. I like to use a 3 8 inch wedge anchor for this. The media type you're going to use is going to depend on the parts you need to finish. Ceramic media works really well for carbon steel and stainless steel, and plastic media works well for aluminum. For the water solution, we use regular water and about two cups of borax. This will help keep rust off your parts. Depending on how much you use the tumbler, you should change the water every 40 to 60 hours of runtime. We also use walnut shell in one of our tumblers to dry parts. This helps get the moisture off the parts and keeps them from getting any film. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. If you like this video, please subscribe as we continue to share shop builds and projects.